May's inflation rate hit a two-year low. As Bella Craft reports, financial experts say it could be the beginning of a larger trend. Prices at the pump are starting to go down, but financial experts say there's more good news than that. The good news is inflation is coming down, albeit slowly, but it is coming down, so it is going the right direction. May's inflation rate was 4%, which is 0.1% lower from April. Compared to the same price last year, that number has been slashed in half. However, some people still think prices are high. I still think it's relative to what it was when it was up there. I haven't seen anything dramatically go down. Wald says this decrease comes from the Federal Reserve's goal to slow consumerism down. This is why interest rates have seen a steady increase. Because hopefully that translates into paying less for goods, less for services. Um, when we look at inflation, it ran up so fast and so far that we've had now 11 months of inflation slowing down and it's welcome news for a lot of people. Wald says the Federal Reserve won't be satisfied and settle at that 4%. The administration is looking to get that rate to 2%. Everybody's going to say they're going to go down and everything is going to get better, but you know, you kind of settle into the norm and it would take something quite dramatic, I think, for us to see a significant decrease in where we're at. Wald says the feds will do whatever they can to rein in inflation, even if that means a full-blown recession. But the good news for North Dakotans is because our main industries are agriculture and energy, he expects that if there is a recession, the state will mostly be shielded. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Craft reporting for your news leader. Inflation peaked last June at 9.1%. Gas was also at a near record high at $4.85 a gallon.